Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, what a great day it is for the cryptocurrency and digital asset market. So first up, people believe that this is actually the big story. The big story is Coinbase debuting on Wall Street and the IPO or the direct listing. And I really believe that the big story is this, which really got buried. And that is that uh, the Senate confirms Gary Gensler as the SEC chairman and why this is so important to advance our market. So we'll take a look at all those things that are going on. On top of, we did a, a great in-depth report about the uh, Coinbase IPO over there with uh, Alex Masio and his show. A couple of things I want to point out about what I found uh, was very interesting and how things actually became true as uh, the day progressed. And then we'll finish up with just a little bit of uh, Twitter madness that is going on. So first, uh, let's uh, take a look at what's going on in the market, shall we? So today it is April 14th. It is about 2 p.m. El Paso, Texas time, and things are uh, looking pretty good. Actually, things look really good when I woke up today, and then uh, Bitcoin dropped a little bit. So we are at uh, a market cap of around 2.2 something trillion dollars, which seems uh, pretty <laughs> ridiculous if you think about it, but here we are. Uh, you know, $2.2 trillion. And just a year ago, we only had $200 billion. Amazing. So we got uh, Bitcoin over the last 24 hours, just about a percentage drop, but we're down to 62.2. Ethereum is doing really good at, at uh, 23. It's up 3%. And then most of the things have just been just a big wide swath of what has been going up. But there is one big winner today, and it is Dogecoin. Um, well, actually, we're all winners, really. But uh, Dogecoin really is crushing it. Over the last seven days, Dogecoin has gone over 108%. This one says 96%, but sure. But uh, yeah, 32% in the last seven days, and it's actually dropped 8% of the last hour, but still, to go from roughly six cents to 12 cents and something, uh, congratulations. I think it was all the way up to 13 cents, so uh, that is amazing for me. But I have a question for everybody. I know a lot of things that are going on, but for Dogecoin, are people working on it? Is there a new partnership? Is there some new big master plan that is going on for Doge and uh, what is it, what it is doing? Is, has it been adopted by some government or something? But it is amazing to me. It baffles me. I don't hate on it. I'm very happy for it because, look, what's good for one is good for all. When the water rushes in, all the ships rise. Uh, I'm happy. But it just uh, kind of makes me wonder. I'm like, what really is it about Doge besides just the social media aspect and all those fantastic names? So that pretty much is going on. There's a lot of big uh, winners uh, below, but uh, let's just take a look at uh, the projected range real quick. This is what we're using, Trade the Chain. It's all sentiment analysis. So if you're a big trader, uh, take a look at Harvest Finance, uh, Bitcoin SV, Nervos, Bitcoin Gold, Ave. Does that say Wacky Coin? Wow, Wacky Chain. All right, and then we're looking at uh, you know just a little bit of margin. So today is one of those odd days. I wouldn't be uh, trading too much. It was just one of those days. So first of all, we'll get into this this uh, story uh, in a little bit. But what I really want to talk to you about is what's going on with Gary Gensler, and this just kind of passed over everybody because right now, you know, there was a long time coming with the Coinbase IPO, a direct listing, and it went off. We'll take a look at the prices, but it doesn't matter some stock price of one individual company. What really determines really what, what happens in this, in this space is of course what you and I do, how we invest, how we hold or not hold, how we take profits and how we do certain things. And another thing is, whether you wanna believe it or not, it is how uh, these different people are appointed uh, to these different offices and their philosophies. Look, the last SEC chairman knew very little about crypto and digital assets. And you saw what happened. He went after Ripple Labs. And that was a big, uh, you know, black spot or, or dark mark on our, our industry. I think uh, Ripple looks like they're going to pull out of it, which is amazing, but it really shouldn't, uh, I don't know if it really should have happened. It's not for me to say. I'm not a lawyer. So that's all I'll say about that. But when you get somebody like this, like a Gary Gensler, this guy knows cryptocurrency. Here he is right here. And you can just Google this, YouTube, Gary Gensler, cryptocurrency, MIT. He's teaching cryptocurrency and digital assets to the students at MIT. This guy just gets it. So what is going on here? Well, this happened today, maybe late last night, I'm not for sure, but he was confirmed. Gensler, and just so you know, this guy isn't some Johnny come lately who just kind of stepped into it and was like, well, I guess we'll do it. Gensler began his career as a banker at Goldman Sachs. Wait, before you jump up in arms, here's what else. 
He was also the chairman of the CFTC. He helped craft the Dodd-Frank reform legislation and aggressively implemented new rules regulating the derivatives market. So yes, he did all these things and that's awful or that could be good depending on how you look at it, I don't, whatever. But to me personally, I just want somebody in there who just really understands it and is an actual proponent of cryptocurrency on fat on the on top of he's already been in the traditional market space so he knows exactly what those bankers are doing look i want somebody in there who knows all the tricks of the trade and all the different underhand and backhanded deals that are being done because i want somebody who has experience and he knows those guys if you want the golden sacks let's be honest they're not the cleanest uh, of everybody the bankers are bankers whatever uh you 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 get what you give them and then of course the rest this whole report it's just about politics, which I'm not going to go over because I almost fell asleep. So with this one, again, with Gensler in here and really just taking crypto into a new space, when we start talking about ETFs, which Coinbase just went public, went off pretty well. Actually, there was no like, you know, insider trading or some craziness. It was just like a, one of those days where it went up, went down. That's what we want. Boring. I like boring. So now we, we have that. On top of these ETFs that we're talking about actually getting funded, well, Gensler could say, well, look, uh, if you think that, uh, you know, crypto digital assets are really being used for nefarious purposes and uh, the cartels and terrorism, that's not true. And here's a study that backs it up. And here's why this is on a public ledger. Here's how difficult it actually is. Because guess what? I know all these things because I used to teach it at MIT. So again, this is a good thing. And I think this is a big story because this guy will shape where our industry goes. Let me know what you think in the comments section. That's what we got. So